order to make sure that the flow cone is in good working order, calibration is required. Water is used for the calibration. Measure 1725 milliliters of water, plus or minus five. Before pouring the water into the flow cone, make sure the flow cone is steady and level. The cone should be mounted firmly and be free of vibration. Make sure to close the outlet of the discharge tube with a stopper or finger. Pour the 1725 milliliters of water into the cone. The measurement is the time of efflux, the time it takes for the water to discharge from the flow cone. Pull the stopper or remove finger and at the same time start the stopwatch. As soon as there is a break in the water, stop the watch and that's the time of efflux. It should calibrate to 8 seconds plus or minus 0.2 seconds. If so, the cone may be used for determining the time of efflux of grout. Before the first use of the flow cone with grout and periodically thereafter, check the accuracy of the cone using this procedure. Record the temperature of the grout before beginning the test procedure. Moisten the inside of the flow cone by filling the cone all the way to the top with water. One minute before introducing the grout sample, allow the water to drain from the cone. Close the outlet of the discharge tube with a stopper or finger. Within one minute, pour the grout into the cone until the grout surface is at the top of the cone. Pull the stopper or remove finger and at the same time start the stopwatch. Stop the watch when one liter of grout has discharged from the cone. Containers used to catch one liter of grout should be calibrated with water to ensure the accuracy of the graduations. At least two tests, having times of efflux within 1.8 seconds of their average, shall be made for each grout mixture. The test for time of efflux shall be made within one minute of drawing of the grout from the mixer or transmission line. Report the following. Identification of sample. Identification of materials in the sample, the proportions and whether it was prepared in the lab or taken from a field production mix. Average time of efflux to the nearest 0.2 seconds and time interval from completion of mixing at which the test was made. Air temperature and temperature of the sample at time of test. And type of mixer used.